Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick review on a free to use and open source video editing software that I came across called Caden Live. For a long time I've been using Filmora as my main video editing software, but recently I've been having some issues, uh, especially with the sound, uh, we're using Filmora, and I wasn't able to render a file, so I just happened to come across this free to use application, and I thought why not, let's give it a go. And after using it, I have to say that I'm quite surprised the amount of functions it gives you. And for a free to use application, it's quite amazing. So I just thought I would do a video about it and show you a few things you can do in the software. Okay, so to begin with, when you open the application after installing it for the first time, you're going to be greeted with this screen. And I'm just going to show you that I am actually using version 20.08.0. So obviously, if you're watching this in the future, um, you might have a up, more up-to-date version and some of the functions might have changed or the way that you do things uh, but for now this is how uh, it looks and I'll show you how I do a quick edit as well okay so what I like to do when I go into a video editing software is I like to change the project defaults so if we go to the project uh, tab here and then we click on project settings as you can see I've got HD 1080p 60fps selected uh, some people like to do 30 FPS, some people like to do 4K, and you can actually select 4K 60 FPS in the software, which is quite good. Uh, so if we select 1080p 60 FPS, because I like to do quite a lot of gameplay videos as well, uh, that's what I like to capture them in. Uh, so it's, it's always useful to have that as a default, uh, instead of having to go into the settings and change them all the time. Uh, just to make them your default as well, what you want to do is you want to click on settings, and you want to click on configure Caden Live and you want to go to project defaults and then you want to make sure that this is selected here 60 FPS 1080p if you want to make 4k your default then select that one if you want to make 1080p 60 FPS or 25 FPS or 30 FPS then select those options uh, for now I'm going to go with uh, my preferred choice which is 1080p 60 FPS and I'm going to click on OK so whenever I click on file and then new it's going to come up with that option and I'm going to click on OK Right, so what you want to do is you want to bring in some videos uh, into this software so you can start editing them. And if you see on the left here, you have a look at that screen here, it's going to say project bin. Now, if you if you can't see that, you want to hover over to the right hand side over here, and you want to make sure that you selected the editing tab over here, as you can see. So it might it might be it might be on logging or audio or effects. So you want to click on editing, and then you want to open the folder with your videos. Now this is a gameplay video that I captured earlier and I'm just going to use this as an example. Uh, I'm going to drag this across into the project bin. Okay, just going to minimize that, click on cancel. So we want to keep this at 60 FPS. Now if you play this video on this screen here, it's going to show you what is actually playing from the project bin. Um, for the editing, it's going to be showing on the right hand side. So uh, you can see the original file being played in the middle bit here and on the right it will be what you've edited okay so we're going to drag this down over here like so okay so if we start playing it we can click on the play button here and as you can see the, the um, stuff that's happening on this side is different to what's happening on here because this is going to be playing the original file and this is going to be playing what's been edited down here. I'm just going to turn the volume down a bit. Okay, so now what we want to do is let's say you want to get rid of all this intro stuff here. You want to you want to make sure that this bit is not shown in the video. So I'm just gonna, just going to show you a quick way to cut out a section. So as you can see at the bottom here, what I've done is I've increased the, um, the zoom of this so I can actually see, uh, make my fine tuning. And then what you want to do is you want to click on the scissor icon here and you want to click on this and you want to select the, uh, the clip here. Okay, um, so obviously this is where it's going to start the, the video from. So I'm just going to click on the this bit here. So if you click over here, you see where my mouse is right now. It's not, it's not going to cut it. You have to select the actual video. So you're not, 
you want to make sure that your mouse is hovering over the actual video and then click and then as you can see it's split it into two different sections now uh, sometimes I do forget that uh, I've got this selected and I go around clicking other places as well so what you want to do immediately after you cut this you want to select the uh, the selection tool uh, so you don't accidentally cut somewhere else and then you want to click on this clip here and you just want to hit delete and then what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to move this across to the left so this is going to so basically now the, the video is going to start from over here as you can see okay uh, now what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how to put some text uh, over the video so what we need to do is we need to go to project then we need to click on add title clip okay and then here I'm just going to do a simple text uh, title okay so I'm just going to call it total tech 2 and then Caden live demo and then what we're going to do uh, is we're going to move this across uh, to the middle bit here I'm not going to play around too much uh, just for the sake of this uh, demo but obviously you've got other options here uh, there's quite a lot of options that you can do actually uh, in the software which I'm quite surprised uh, they give you for free um, it's going to leave that in the middle somewhere there. I'm going to do create title and as you can see it's created the uh, uh, that thing here so basically I can click on play and as I mentioned earlier it's going to show this in the middle screen here and on the right hand side is where the um, uh, the actual edit is happening so I'm just going to drag this down like so and now if I click over here and click on play in this one where the main edit is and what I, what I mean by main edit is that when you render the file, this is what you're going to see as the um, end result. So if I click on play, as you can see, uh, I've got that title there. So it says Total Tech Tube, okay, in the middle there. Uh, just going to make it a bit shorter. Okay, so that's how you do a title text, okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is how to zoom in into a particular shot. So uh, if I scroll across here, so as you can see that uh, in this bit here, uh, the character is moving, and he he shot the other player basically. And what I, I want to do is I want to zoom in on that bit there basically. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to hit the scissor icon, and I'm going to cut it. Okay. Then I'm going to play it. It's going to move it back a bit here. And then I'm going to cut it again uh, because I only want to zoom in on this bit. So as you can see now, I've got three different sections here. Now, this is the one that we want to zoom into. So what we're going to do is now we're going to click on effects over here. I'm going to highlight this uh, and I'm going to type in zoom. And as you can see, it says position and zoom. OK, so what you want to do is you want to drag this into here into this screen there so what that's done is it's created an effect that's going to be applied to this section here that we cut out earlier so as you can see it's highlighted in yellow all the all the other sections they remain intact um, so to zoom in let me just highlight the actual frame here so as you can see um, this is the shot that's happening at the moment so I'm just going to put in let's say for example 300 percent okay and it's zoomed into there Okay, let's go for 350%. That, that looks okay. Okay, now uh, if we just drag this across from the beginning here, let's just, and then we click on play. Now, what, what it's going to show you is going to show you that uh, the, the character is moving across the screen. Uh, and when it gets to this bit here where my mouse is pointing, it should show you the zoom effect. So if we just play this, and as you can see, when it when it went past this bit over here, it zoomed out. So I'm going to show you that show you this bit again, just so you can understand what's happened. Okay, so that was a straightforward uh, zoom in because that was actually focusing on the center. So that basically, where the crosshair is. Luckily, in this game, uh, the crosshair is in the center. So obviously, it zoomed in on the center. Uh, so that was a straightforward one. Uh, let's say we want to uh, actually. Uh, zoom in on the minimap here okay so that's going to be a bit more trickier um, so let's just cut it over here to begin with 
and then we're gonna we're gonna bring this uh, clip over here, and we're gonna we're gonna cut it over here as well. Okay. Now, what we want to do for this clip, uh, as you can see, there's no effect in here. So if we click on uh, this clip over here that we uh, zoomed in on earlier, so you can see there's a zoom effect that we applied. So on this one, there's nothing here. So we're going to click on this zoom effect again. We're going to drag it over here. Uh, now, if I do 350%, let's just go for 300 actually, uh, you can see that it's zoomed in on the middle. So basically what I want to do, I want to make sure that the, the camera is pointing in the upward direction. So I'm just going to click on this bit here, which says align left. And then I want to click on this bit here, which says align top. And basically what that's done is it's moved the camera left and then up. Um, obviously you can use um, the offsets here. So for example, if I want to go to the right a bit, uh, I would drag this, as you can see, I'm clicking on W and it's dragging this across like that. We're going to drag it across like that. Um, I'm going to drag it to the right. It's going to like basically scroll it across. But yeah, if, if we go with uh, what I selected earlier, so a line left and a line top, that's zoomed it in there. So as you can see, if we click on play, it's, it's zoomed in on the mini map there for that brief moment. And that's not in the middle, that's on the top left. Obviously, uh, you would have to play around this section with the offsets to select exactly where you want to zoom in. So if you wanted to zoom in on the right hand side over here, you would do the same thing. But instead of align left, you would click on the align right uh, button here. Or you can actually use the um, the offsets as well, uh, whichever is easier for you. Right, okay, so that covers uh, the title and zooming in and cutting a video file. Uh, I'm just going to touch upon uh, briefly adding some music uh, as well, some external music. Uh, so because I do a lot of uh, gameplay videos, I like to add my own music to it as well. Um, so obviously, if you're if you've got a recording, say for example, you're out and about, you've got a, you've you've taken a video file in the park or something, and you want to add some background music to it. So hopefully, this should uh, enable you to do that. Um, so we're just going to go into the editing section again. Okay, over here, as you can see, it was in the effects sections. I'm just going to click on the editing section there. And these are our two files in the project bin. Uh, I'm just going to open up the, the folder. And here is a free uh, MP3 that I downloaded from the YouTube audio library. So I'm just going to drag this across into the project bin. I'm just going to minimize that. And obviously, if I click on play, it's going to play the file. OK, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down and I'm actually going to put it right after the zoom so as soon as the zoom finishes it's going to start playing the video file so if we just go back a bit so as you can see uh i've basically what i've done is i've added a background music file and it's made the video more exciting so if you listen over here there was no audio But now the audio starts playing, obviously, and that makes it a bit more exciting, gives it a bit more flavor as well. So um, I'm just going to stop that. So obviously you can select other audio files and make it a bit more heavy metal, a bit more mellow. It's up to yourself. Um, yeah. And basically to zoom out, to have a look at the, um, the full project at, at the bottom here, if you click on the zoom level, as you can see, I'm just dragging this pointer across. Okay, so there are two versions of this file that you can download. Um, obviously, I'm using this on Windows 10, as you can see. Um, there's a standalone version and there's an installer version. And the standalone version is basically a zip file which you can just extract to anywhere on your desktop or your hard drive and uh, just start running it from the folder itself. And the installer is where you just download it. You install it to your C drive and run it as a normal program as you would. Uh, so I've got the standalone version because I just wanted to give this one a go. And so far, it's been running fine and everything's been okay there hasn't been any crashes or anything as such and i'm just going to quickly show you how to render a file after you're finished with the project 
So if you click on file and click on save as, that's only going to save the, the project file. It's not going to save, it's not going to render the file to give you the final result of your editing. So just bear that in mind. What you want to do is you want to click on project and then you want to click on render. And once you click on that, it's going to come up with this screen. Uh, it might have the WebM format selected, which is the default uh, format, but I like to go with MP4 because it's a, it's a smaller file size. If you click on more options, uh, you can see over here, I can select the number of threads I want the render to use. And I've selected the maximum of 12 because I want the render to use as much processing power as possible and do it quickly, basically. Uh, you can also increase the speed here, encoder speed. You can change the overall quality. As you can see over here, I'm clicking uh, on the quality tab here and dragging it across. Um, so what it's doing is in it's increasing the audio quality. So by default, it's selected as 192. Uh, bit rate. Uh, if you select the maximum, it'll be 256. So that will increase your file size. So just bear that in mind. Uh, obviously, you can render this in 4K as well, um, and you can choose the output file over here. So once you're happy with all the options that you selected and what format you wanted to uh, render in, you just click on Render to File over here, and that will start rendering the file basically. Uh, now, do bear in mind that there's two limitations to the software when you when you compare it to other video editing software that you have to pay for and one of them is that the file size is slightly bigger so for example when I edited a piece of software in Filmora stuff that would give me 300 to 500 megabytes on this one it would go up to basically 600 to 700 megabytes so it would be slightly bigger file size uh, the render time is slightly longer as well on this just bear that in mind as well so stuff that would take 10 minutes to render this would take 20 to 25 minutes um, but it is a small price to pay because you are getting the software for free. So just bear that in mind. So you just you just set it to render and just go do something else, uh, watch some television, have a cup of coffee uh, or, or whatever, and then come back and it, it would have been done basically. Uh, so I'm not going to complain about the extra time that it's going to take to render a file basically. Um, overall, I think this is a really good piece of software and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a free to use and easy software where you want to make a few quick edits like adding a title, making a few cuts, zooming in, or even adding other things like uh, slow motion or changing your colors of the, of the video file as well. And if you go on the website or on the Caden Live website, you can get other information from there as well. Um, so just give this a go. And uh, I think basically you will not be disappointed with this software. If you have any queries or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like and please subscribe to our channel for more tech related content. Thank you for watching.